Right, we want to find the exact value of the tangent of 13 pi over 12. Uh, we've worked a couple examples with uh, radians so far, so you know how to do that. So the two that I found that are going to work are 9, there we go, 9 pi over 12 added to 4 pi over 12. That gives me 13 pi over 12. And 9 pi over 12, here I'll go ahead and write it out so I can make this be the tangent of the sum. Well, 9 pi over 12 is really 3 pi over 4. And 4 pi over 12 is really pi over 3. And we want to expand that. Um, and then you, let me write that over here a minute. So you know that the tangent of A plus B is equal to the tangent of A minus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent of A times tangent of B. Alright, so let's go ahead and expand this. And let's see, I'm going to work down, down here. Okay, So I've got the tangent, when I expand that, I've got the tangent of 3 pi over 4 plus, oops, I forgot this plus up here. There we go, plus, there we go. Plus tangent of pi over 3 all over 1 minus tangent of 3 pi over 4 times tangent of pi over 3. All right, there we go. Now let's substitute some stuff in. Um, and uh, you can do it a couple ways. You can, uh, you know, on the side, you can actually find, if you wanted, the tangent of 3 pi over 4 by saying, well, that's the sine of 3 pi over 4 divided by the cosine of 3 pi over 4. And that's going to turn out to be negative 1. So that might help a little bit to do that over to the side um, rather than do that, you know, at this point right here. And then the tangent of pi over 3, let's do that in a minute. So the tangent of pi over 3, well that's going to be the sine of pi over 3 divided by the cosine of pi over 3. So that's going to be the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. And oh, I'm running out of some room there, but that's going to be the square root of 3. So let's, let's substitute those in, um, in our identity over here, rather than, rather than putting the big fractions in. Okay, so that's done over to the side first. All right, now, tangent of 3 pi over 3. So we said that was negative 1. And the tangent of pi over 3 is square root of 3. There we go. All over 1 minus. And now we've got negative 1 times square root of 3. Okay. I'm going to work sideways a little bit, and then I'm going to um, open up a new piece of paper here. Okay. So I have negative 1 plus the square root of 3 all over 1. And this is going to turn out to be, see, if I multiply these together, this is minus, and minus and minus is a plus square root of 3. All right, so now at this point, let me open up a, a new sheet here, and we'll just pick up from here. So we have 1 minus the square root of 3 over 1 plus the square root of 3. And now we have to rationalize, and let's do this by multiplying by the conjugate. So that's going to be 1 minus the square root of 3 over 1 minus the square root of 3. Alright, so let's FOIL out the top. 1 times 1 is 1. And we're going to have a minus the square root of 3, minus another square root of 3, and then minus and minus is a plus. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. And that's going to be all over 1 minus 3. Alright, so 
simplifying that a little bit. I have 1 minus, let's see, I get 2 of those, plus 3, and that's negative 2. Let's move up here and work on that. 1 plus 3 is 4. So we have 4 minus 2 times the square root of 3 all over negative 2. And we can cancel some stuff here. I have a 2 in every term. So 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 2 once. And then I've got that negative to deal with too. Um, so I could have said negative 2. Let's, let's do it in two, ste or in two steps. Okay. So I have 2 minus the square root of 3 all over negative 1. So now I can multiply through by negative 1 or divide by negative 1. So that makes this be negative 2 plus the square root of 3. Another way to think of this is to think of this as 2 over negative 1, and then I have minus the square root of 3 over negative 1. Sometimes this is helpful. Break that apart into two functions, or two fractions, and then this becomes negative 2. And then minus a uh, negative divided by a negative is a plus, so that becomes plus 2 times the square root of 3. So sometimes this is a helpful way to think of uh, dealing with this negative 1 in the denominator there. Alright, so there's our final answer. Um, here we are right here, negative 2 plus the square root of 3 uh, using the tangent sum identity.